friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is the first video I'm making after the South Island trip I did with Gareth. There's probably another video or two in between us getting back in this video. But yeah, I'm back in the North Island. I always promise sun and so far they're bang wrong, which is a shame because I've chosen this little stream because I need sun to be able to fish it well. I actually only fish this stream maybe once a year, just because it's a very small stream and it can't take much pressure and so I don't like to fish it much. Yeah, the last time I did this, I had an amazing day. So anyway, I've walked downstream. Uh, as you may or may not be able to see, I fell in on the way down. Proper fell in, like slipped, went under, <laughs> just floated a bit, got up. I'm waiting for the sun to come out. I think it will, but right now it's super cloudy. I'll give you a quick look at what I'm using today and then we'll uh, start fishing while we wait for the sun to come out. Definitely five weight territory. I'm gonna use Frank. If you're new to the channel and you don't know why I'm calling my rod Frank and what Frank is, it's actually an Orvis Helios H3 5 weight. But I can't say any of that without sounding like a knobber, so I call it Frank instead. Oh yeah, and the reason I use this fish pond stuff, the bag and the hip pack, is because it's fully submersible. The goal went for a swim on the way down here and everything in here is bone dry. And then I'm going to chuck the Mirage LT on that, a cool little reel, goes real well with this rod it's nice and small and light. Seems to be taking a beat in this reel. Caught some good fish on it now. I've used it, abused it, thrown it, dropped it, kicked it, drowned it. Generally not looked after it and um, still still going really, really well. So I've got that on there. Then I've got a five weight Infinity Smooth from Scientific Anglers. If you're looking for a new line or you're even considering looking for a new line, um, as a general purpose all round line, the Infinity from Scientific Anglers is, I don't know, I just don't think you can beat it. It's so good. Their lines are so good. They're a little bit more pricey than some of the other brands, but they're just so much better and they last so much longer, you do actually end up saving the money. Guys sound like an infomercial, but you do. Uh, so I've got a seven foot poly leader, floating poly leader on the end of that to a tippet ring. And then what have I got on here? It's about four and a bit feet of 3X. And then I've got a few feet of 1x there. That should be enough. I'll just dry drop her. I've been trialing the new fluoro that's coming out from Scientific Anglers. It's the Supreme Absolute Fluoro. Thinner in diameter and the knot strength is up again. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's super expensive. But damn it's good. Those big fish I was catching in the South Island a few videos ago, that was all on 4x Supreme. So I've done a little size 14 Royal Wolf, probably about two and a half feet of 4X, and then a little um, UV pheasant tail, Cat 3. Now you see there's a bit of wind now, and now this soaking wet shirt is feeling quite cold. I think I'm gonna put my jacket on. So this visibility is zero. Nothing but glare, son. So I mean, as far as sight fishing goes, I ain't gonna see nothing. I'm gonna be on top of it and it's gonna see me before I have any chance of seeing a fish, so. Whoa. I'm a little bit further up and then just, just start casting. Slippier than I remember. This one went tips up earlier on the way down. Whip across, I think he may have been chasing my flies. Don't know. There's also a very good chance he saw me. Very good. <sighs> Just dropped back on my flies. I think he tried to eat my fly. Okay, so I'm changing over both flies just because, well, one, I was getting annoyed with that Royal Wolf sinking all the time anyway. Uh, now, two, because 
that the fish is still there. Oh, he just ate off the top. I just saw this huge mayfly drifting down on the inside, and he uh, went over to go and eat it before, but it took off. So he's definitely looking up. So I've stopped what I was doing. I'm just going to put a size 14 parachute Adams on, and I'm just going to fish the dry because I reckon they'll eat off the top if I don't mess this up. Yes! The slowest, slowest dry fly eat you're ever likely to see. Oh yes! Cool old fish. Come on bro, let's go. Yeah! Oh, day made. Just a super cool fish. Big old boy. Cool. Man, there was a lot of luck involved in that, but it's well, better be lucky than good, right? Just pop that little dry fly just right on the edge and the real quiet stuff, and it was a really just, just slowly came back and then I saw that guy just come out and just in super slow motion just come up turn back down and then just lift boom that was so cool in these conditions in this place that's it job done still mayfly everywhere a little bits of sun now which is awesome so again, can't see in here, but it looks good. So I dropped back, crossed over, and I'll just fish this, you know. Just fish it. Oh yes, there's a rainbow. No way, there's no rainbows in here, I didn't think. Sweet. It's just a it's just a really golden brown. Oh wow, what a beautiful fish. Whew. What a strong fish. Oh, just will not give up. Holy hell. Come on, come on. Wow. There we go, up, up, up. Oh, wow. What an amazing fish. Um, boy, am I, am I glad I did that. Probably the most beautiful fish I've caught from this river. I actually thought it was a rainbow at first because it looked in the tannin stained water and with the gold, dark gold of that fish, it looked red, looked like a red, big dark red stripe. And it was fighting like a rainbow too, real scrappy. Uh, oh, that is stunning. There's some huge mayflies floating by here. So uh, yeah, looking good for the next couple of hours. Can't 
Yes. This feels like a really good fish. Ooh. Wow, that's a good fish. I want you over. Uh, yes! Woo! Wow! What a fish! It's gonna be hard to beat this season as far as just well the condition the size the kind of water it came from that was incredible wow it was beautiful such good condition what a great day it's actually warming up i'm dried out underneath here i could even potentially get rid of this jacket soon might even get some sun doesn't matter though day made I just had to do a GoPro swap. Oh, I know we're good. No, he's off. Ah, so what happened? The fish came up, ate the dry fly. As soon as I struck, uh, this GoPro battery died. So took the GoPro out of this, put this one in here, and then the hook bent and the fish came off. Found a fish at last. I probably just walked <clears throat> just over a kilometre without seeing anything. I got this sweet piece of water. There's a fish in it. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and set up the main camera with the big lens, and I'm going to put it up there on that hill and see if I can get I don't know a different angle on this. I thought what I'd do is turn this camera on and just give you a little glimpse at uh, all the pissing around it takes to try and get some footage a lot of the time I do this and just nothing happens all right that's recording now all right this is a new fly because the other one got bent out by that last fish I feel like I see him though. Right? I think I might spook him.
Yo, all right, I gotta go, I am late. <laughs> Once again, I fished too long, which is too much fun. I kept finding fish. Awesome day, just turned it on for me this afternoon. The sun came out, the fish were out, they were eating. Magic, good fish all day, and then two of those were just spectacular. Over the moon. Anyway, that's me for this year. I will be back here next year, and hopefully it's in just as good shape. Yeah, what a beautiful, cool place. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button, do the little bell thing so you don't miss a video. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great week. Peace.